The next tool in this bar is the line, just a simple line segment. I'm going to left click, hold, drag, click, and there's our line segment. I will use this tool in conjunction with another one in a few minutes in order to show you how to grade antro or retro thesis. The next tool will be text. We can click on the image. We can type whatever we would like to within the box. Click one more time. And if you'd like to resize this text very simply, left click and hold in the bottom corner and drag your mouse and it will resize that text for you. Last but not least within this toolbar is the vertical axis or gravity weight line. If you would like to show a perfect gravity weight line, click on the vertical axis, pick your point that you would like to show the gravity weight line from, click, and it will put on a perfectly vertical line. Then yes, you can move it if it's not placed perfectly. Click one more time and it will stay. The next tool is just a simple ruler. If you left click on the ruler, left click and hold on your first point, drag it to your second point, let go, click one more time, and that will allow it to measure that distance. You can also move this measurement into an area where it's more visible. Click one more time and the tool will stop. I'm going to reset our image one more time. The next toolbar has some really nice chiropractic tools, so we'll go up to the lateral cervical. The first tool in this line is the cervical curve. If we click on the cervical curve, it's going to give us a demonstration on how to use it. Very basically, click a point posterior superior of C2. Your next point will be posterior superior of T1. And then you're going to click whichever way the patient is facing. If the patient is facing to the left, you will click on the left side of the screen. If the patient is facing to the right, you'll click anywhere on the right side of the screen. There is a normal cervical curve for that patient. Click one more time and it stops the tool. The next tool, center mass with atlas plane line. We can follow along with this tool. I do not have a really good example image for it, but basically it will have you plot the four corners of the skull and create the gravity center skull line. Your next two points will be the corners of C1, and it will give you an angle of C1 from the center line of the skull. The next line will be the line ratio. This was the tool I said we would use in order to grade antro or retrolisthesis. First, I'm going to pretend that L3 is shifted forward quite a ways. So I've extended our line segment, and now I will use the line ratio tool, placing a dot on that corner, dot on that corner. The center dot, we can left click and hold, and as you see you move your cursor, it will actually move along with it. You can intersect the red line, and it will measure percentages, so you can have it grade one, two, three, or four. The next tool is compression. Compression will measure a percentage of compression for a compressed vertebrae. We'll click on this button. If you'll notice on the toolbar, the middle vertebrae is actually compressed compared to the one above and below. What this tool would like us to do is place a dot top and bottom of the vertebrae above the compression, and then we're gonna place a dot top and bottom, and I'm going to fudge here a little bit, pretend that it's compressed that far, and then we'll place a dot top and bottom of the normal vertebrae below. What it's telling us is this line in the center is 75% of the average of the two normals. Next we have just an extended line. If you left click and hold and drag, it extends a line. Last but not least, we have the lumbar curve. In the same fashion as we did the lateral cervical curve, 
you can show a normal lumbar curve on the lateral lumbar x-ray. Posterior superior of T12, posterior inferior of L5, and then again, click which way the patient was facing. There's a normal lumbar curve. Our next tools are basic, but very good for measuring iliac crest height or femoral head height on an A to P lumbar. Measure from horizontal. I will expand this so you can see what it says we are doing. We are left clicking on the top of the iliac crest and we're going to left click and hold and drag it to the other iliac crest. Unfortunately, this patient is really level, so I can't demonstrate very well. So I'll just pretend that the patient's iliac crest is down at this height. If we click again, it is measuring 13.3 millimeters between the perfectly horizontal lines. I will now go to the lateral cervical for the next tool, which is measure from vertical for forward head translation or forward head posture. We will find our first point again we're going to left click and hold and drag it to the second point that we want to measure from. Click one more time and then we can drag our measurement into a more viewable area. 29.4 millimeters of forward head translation. The last tool in this group is horizontal deflection. Horizontal deflection measures an angle from perfect horizontal. If we wanted to measure the angle of C1, I will move this out of the way. We will left click on our first point, left click on our second point. It is telling us that that angle is 19.5 degrees. We can also measure the sacral base angle with the exact same tool. Left click, left click. 37.8 degree sacral base angle. This toolbar can be customized so you can choose which tools you would like. At the end of the toolbar you will see a help file. You may read through the help file to get tips on using the Image Suite viewer or simply call us and we'll be happy to go over it with you. When you are done with viewing the x-rays, if you would like to save your annotations, there are two different ways of doing it. Down in the bottom right hand corner, you will see what looks like a disk. And when you put your cursor over this disk, it says save image status. If you click on it, it will save your images as they are with your annotations. And it will tell you that it was successful. Or you can simply close out of the viewing screen with the red X and it will ask you if you would like to save your changes to the image. If you click OK, it will save your annotations so that they will be there the next time you open them. If you hit Cancel, it will delete all annotations and close out of the patient's folder. I'm going to hit OK. Operation successful, which is what we want to see every time. We'll click OK and we're back to the patient database.